I'm going to solve a triangle using the law of cosines, obviously. And the reason I know law of cosines is what I want to go with is this. As I look over what's given to me right here, do you see any matching sides? We've got a B and an A. Okay, that's not matching. We've got an A and a C, no match there. B and a C, right? There's nothing that is uh, opposite angles and sides here. So what I have to do is ditch the law of sines. We're going to move on to the law of cosines, which is specifically for cases like this. And the first thing I want to do, right, step one with the law of cosines is always find the third side. Now, if that's given to you, if you're given three sides, great, we're already done with step one. But we have to make sure we have three sides before we can really get anywhere. And that means I need to find what B is. Okay, little b. So we have a formula for that. If you look back at your equations, uh, hopefully you're going to have this memorized soon. But if you don't, for now, it's b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2a times c times the cosine of angle b. All right. Now we're going to plug that into a calculator. And hang on a second. Let's see. 10.3. Okay. Squared. Okay. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking those values I know like 7.29 for A and 4.65 for C and 2 times 7.29 times 4.65 times cosine of 118.49 degrees. I'm saying, what's that equal to? Well, all that gives me this. B squared equals, uh, I'm going to round here, although you shouldn't. Keep lots and lots of decimals. It's the best way to be right. I'm going to get something like 107.123. Well, um, I'm not sure if that's exactly correct, but it's awfully close. And if I square root that, I get 10.35. Okay, there's my answer for side B. Switching gears a little bit. Now I know three sides. Step number two. Find an angle. I don't care which one. Just go find an angle using the law of cosines. I really recommend staying with the law of cosines and not switching over to the law of sines. You could do the law of sines right now in step two. You could use the law of sines in a matching pair to find an angle. But you have to be careful in those cases that you don't accidentally wander into the ambiguous case. So if you decide to go for the law of sines, make sure you find the biggest angle. Okay, now... I'm going to stay in the law of cosines, though, because I really prefer it. I don't have to make any decisions. I can just pick something and start solving it. So if you remember, the cosine of A equals, uh, what do we have here? I think it's B squared plus C squared minus little a squared over 2BC. Okay, if memory serves, that's my formula. And now I just start plugging things in, right? What's B squared? Well, that's going to be, well, we just found it. 10.35 squared. And if you want to use that value, 107.123, that's even better. Uh, C squared is going to be 4.65 squared, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, I'm just going to say etc., cetera, uh, etc. Cetera. You put you put those all in, and what do we get? We get cosine of all this equals something like 0 0.785, yada, yada, yada. Okay, and now I do the inverse cosine. And I say angle A equals inverse cosine of that ugly mess. If you want to put it all in one calculator line, that's fine. Just really be careful with your parentheses here. Parentheses mistakes are very common. So honestly, what I do, if you want a little advice, I'll do the top and then divide it by the bottom. Okay, in my calculator, I don't try to do everything at once. But in the end, what you're going to get is angle A equals 38.25 degrees. All right? So that's the way you approach this thing. We have 38.25 degrees. If you want, you can find angle C in the same method by doing cosine of C equals, you know, big ugly fraction, solve it all. But at this point, I would just go ahead and do, uh, do 180 degrees minus the other two angles. That'll give you angle C. That's the quickest way to approach it. Of course, you always want to double check yourself, right? So you can use the law of cosines to double check. But if you're in a hurry and if you're in a pinch, that's that's a quick way to finish this off.